I am a PhD student at the University of Southampton. Until Monday, I was also working in TLB in Hannover. From Friday on, that's my two weeks holiday and employment. Uh, I, I will be in London. Um, so, um, first of all, I would like to thank you, Chris, for, for coming, for being here, for inviting me. Um, and particularly, I want to point out Reem because she made this connection between me and the Arabic community. This is more than I could ever ask for. As you will see afterwards, I got a bit obsessed to test everything in Arabic on Wikipedia. So that's pretty much fun here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, generally, so I'll have a presentation tomorrow that will go more into the research side of things. Um, this is particularly about two projects we did um, in Part, like in part of our research, but this is more basically the applied part of it. Um, so we looked into how to support Arabic Wikipedia with Wikidata, and specifically the article placeholder, and then we have a new project starting in a few months, which is Scribe. Uh, yeah, so actually I'm, I'm my co-author and a friend and person I always work with is Hadi, he's not here. Um, that's the other reason we got stuck with Arabic, because it's his native language. So very sorry, we wanted to make this presentation bilingual, um, so it's in English now. So um, what drives us is this idea of, recognize that Matt Martin? <laughs> <laughs> so what drives us is the idea of information poverty. So at the moment there are more articles on Wikipedia about Japan than about the entire Middle East. And so that's something that we found quite upsetting. And um, there is also this problem, so if you look into uh, content translation and other tools to work with, that not only the information and the content we have from Wikipedia is biased, but also the referencing is biased. So this is the example of Ala Salah. Um, her Wikipedia article on Arabic Wikipedia was translated from English, so it's a relatively long article, but a big part of the references are in English, which makes it obviously really hard for monolingual speakers to look anything, to fact check anything. And then also, it gives a very weird view on a topic, because you only perceive it from an outside view. So we even have references, like one of them is from, from New Zealand, for example. So it becomes a very odd um, view on a topic that's actually very uh, topical for the language of Kenya. <coughs> So, um, what I will talk about today is a bit an introduction of Wikidata. So, who of you doesn't know Wikidata? Like, who knows Wikidata? That's so like that. Cool. So, for all of you, that's repetition. Yay. Um, I'll go through that very fastly. Then I'll talk a bit about the article placeholder and text generation, where we look at projects to support readers um, on Wikipedia. And then we, I will talk about Scribe, which is uh, more aimed at editors and particularly new editors. Wikipedia. So, as I said, short introduction to Wikidata. What's interesting for me mainly is that we have those unique identifiers that are language independent, and then we can tag them with labels in different languages. And that's something I find quite genius. It's like over 400 languages, 300, 400 languages. Um, and when I discovered that while working there, actually, um, I was super excited. Like, this gives a lot of possibilities. We have this huge set of data that is multilingual, by default, that is reusable, it's under free license, so so many cool things to do. Um, and so we ask ourselves, what can we do to use this data and take this data from Wikidata and actually display it on uh, Wikipedia? Because the problem is with that Wikidata is not really the, the place where you want to read something, like it's just data, so it's not very enjoyable to read. Um, and that's where we started with the project of article placeholder, and so basically we take those triples from Wikidata, so the structured information, and just display it on um, Wikipedia. That's pretty much, that was pretty much the idea. We said, well, at least it's there. We don't have much on those topics. We have data already in Wikidata. Let's at least bring it to the reader so they see that <clears throat> there's content. And the important part about Wikidata, about, about those article placeholders is that they're not like bot created articles. So they're not stuffs. They don't just fill your, Wikidata, uh, your, your Wikipedia, they are there, and you can remove them at any time. So you can stop displaying the article placeholder and all the pages are gone. Um, and this was something very important for us because we didn't want to overload editors with like random information. Um, 
yeah, so uh, that's pretty much the same again. Um, and yeah, so they're, as I said, they're dynamic, dynamic, dynamically generated. Uh, they're currently not on Arabic Wikipedia, so we started their life on 14 Wikipedias, um, but they are extremely low resource language Wikipedia. So, Gujarati, for some reason we have Esperanto in the mix and some other languages. When we started the project, we were very afraid that Arabic Wikipedia is basically too big, and that was one of our main concerns that we wanted to talk with Arabic editors more first before we deploy it, because for example, at the moment we don't filter much what is the display. So we just give you everything as a Wikidata that at least has an article in two other languages, I think, and three statements. So that's a very low threshold, and we were thinking that it would make more sense to look into what's topics that interest our Wikipedia editors. And then um, we looked into, so just playing those triples is not very nice. It just doesn't look so good. It's not cool. And then we thought, well, how can we make them into text? How can we make them at least in a short description of the topic on each page? And that's actually where we started getting in contact with Rim, uh, because we evaluated the study. So basically, so the, I, I'll go into more detail tomorrow on this part. So basically, we have a neural network model that takes Wikidata triples as an input and generates a description of the topic in one or two sentences. Um, that's the model we use to use LSTMs. Many fancy words, but not so important for now. If you want to know more about this, don't come to me, or I can give you the paper, or we can discuss it. So that's the article place for a very short wrap up. So what do we have now? We have something that can display Wikidata on Wikipedia in any language. Wikipedia is the Wikidata is available in in your local language on Wikipedia. Um, yeah, come if you're interested in making it possible for Arabic Wikipedia. We're a bit stuck in deploying it now, um, just because we don't have enough interaction with the communities. We tested, this also I'll go into more detail tomorrow, we tested those generated sentences with Arabic Wikipedia editors, we made interviews about them. They seem to be relatively good, but with natural language generation we have some problems. I'll go into tomorrow, but thanks to Reem, we could identify those problems also in Arabic. Um, language because yeah ne neural networks make mistakes it's very weird so okay so now I'm going to go into the second project we have which is Scribe <coughs> and so our starting point was we imagine a user role which is a new editor that wants to write a new article and they have a topic but they just don't know where to start and how to start writing an article on Wikipedia and. Uh, so we call this scribe after the scribe, the, the Egyptian um, person or profession that was in ancient Egypt of, of writing. I mean, pretty straightforward. Um, and the project is two parts, basically. So we want to plan section titles, so give you an overview how an article should be structured. So you follow based on your language Wikipedia, so in Arabic you would learn from other Arabic Wikipedia articles how the uh, article should be structured, so you can follow the community guidelines and how things are done in the community already, select uh, reference um, for each section. So for each section we should find references online and ideally obviously also in the target language so that we don't have this problem where we have a topic of interest in the Arab world and all of our references are in English or Spanish or German or something. And then we want to give a summary of each reference so that you can actually start writing without opening, where you can decide what's a good reference, what's a bad reference, based on the summary. So that's the very, very first mock-up we made. <laughs> you can see I'm a back-end developer, I'm not the best with when it comes to front -up. Um Also, I love falafel, so that's a pretty obvious topic to me. Um, do we have like a laser pointer? No. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a laser pointer. So uh, that's the uh, collected references from from online resources. Uh, we wanted to collect we want to collect images from Wikidata, so from Wikimedia Commons through Wikidata, basically. So still here we have a strong connection to the Wikidata project. So we can, for the first iteration of the project, we will depend on things that already exist in Wikidata and have information on Wikidata. And then we have the section planning and uh, a key point extraction for each section. Um, 
And then we said, well, this is actually pretty stupid to start this desktop because one, it makes us a cluttered thing that looks like the thing before. And um, second, there are a lot of editors nowadays that edit from mobile. And if we find a good way to edit mobile, this is not only helpful for our project, but this might be helpful for any form of mobile editing on the long run. So that's why we started oh. saying we have a mobile first approach. And so that's what I said before. So we select the uh, section headings based on existing articles in the language. And then you can write one section at a time. You're not cluttered with this massive overview of everything. Um, so therefore we have this previous and next section, you can go up and down, write and continue later, um, and then select the references for each section um, yeah, based on what we suggest you and give, we give you a short overview of what's happening. Um, and then that's not in our layout right now because we're not decided on that, so we were happy. the project is in a relatively uh, early stage still. So if you have any feedback, please come and like, criticize, especially the bad feedback, like what's not working for you. Tell me, absolutely, because we're very early on and this is our very first mock-up that's also done a bit awkwardly, like, not to front end. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so, so that's, the, that's the idea. And we want to add the images from Wikimedia Commons. We're not sure how to include this also on mobile, because even this, I mean, we were so happy when we did this, and then we, we implemented this in the uh, Wikimania hackathon this year in Stockholm, and we found that while we were implementing it, that we never considered that there is an actual keyboard on the phone. So <laughs> this might be better to integrate at some point. Um, yeah. So basically what we want to achieve with Scribe is to say that we have an accessible editing of Wikipedia, um, an editor, a new editor can come and they have a starting point, they have the sections, they have the references, they're incentivized to use references and to follow the community guidelines. Um, the more people we have starting in Wikipedia, the more diverse our encyclopedia becomes. Um, we try to integrate this idea that we want from the beginning, because it's also more, um, it's, it's a nicer feeling for new editors to write from the beginning good articles, because it's nicer feedback. So we want to um, do this idea of high quality of articles, so that's, as I said, it's the prototype from the Wikimania hackathon, uh, which includes the article structure and the references. And then we want to uh, support new editors, basically, with learning Wikipedia standards. And that's where we look a lot into what the <coughs> new readers, no, new editors, <coughs> No, the editor's retention team in the Wikimedia Foundation is doing at the moment because they're struggling a lot with that. And so the question is also where in that can we include guidelines, for example, right? Or hints to guidelines to point people to things that they could look into and work with. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you have any interest in Scribe, right, um, I hope. Uh, there's the meta page where we describe the project a bit more, there's a talk page obviously, uh, discuss and give us all your feedback, come to me in person, I'll be around anyway. Um, we, uh, if you are working on research, <laughs> looking at you in fact, um, come and, and look at, we, we, have, we wrote down a list of like research challenges we have in Scribe particularly, um, that's not up to date anymore. <laughs> Um, so, and then uh, what we're trying to do at the moment is we try to create a wide list of references that work in Arabic Wikipedia to have a starting point to learn from what's a good reference, just generally, to then get cut it down to like the articles in particular. Um, if you can help me with this, because my Arabic is very limited, um, please come and, and tell me. I have a page on my user page, I think of Meta or something, or in the scribe, somewhere there is a page as everything, um, where we just try to collect references. Um, yeah, please, please come and talk to me generally. Um, as I said, if you have any ideas, if you have any questions, also please come to me. I am so happy if I have get any feedback. And uh, yeah, again. Shukran for having me. In the Wikimedia Foundation is doing at the moment because they're struggling a lot with that. And so 
the question is also where in that can we include guidelines, for example, right? Or hints to guidelines to point people to things that they could look into and work with. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you have any interest in Scribe, um, I hope, uh, there is the meta page where we describe the project a bit more. There is a talk page, obviously. Uh, discuss and give us all your feedback. Come to me in person, I'll be around anyway. Um, we, uh, if you are working on research, <laughs> looking at you in fact, um, come and, and look at, we, we, have, we wrote down a list of like research challenges we have inscribed particularly. Um, that's not up to date anymore. <laughs> um, so, and then uh, what we're trying to do at the moment is we try to create a wide list of references that work in Arabic Wikipedia to have a starting point to learn from what's a good reference just generally, to then get, cut it down to like the articles in particularly, um, if you can help me with this, because my Arabic is very limited, um, please come and, and help me. I have a page on my user page, I think of Meta or something, or in the scribe, somewhere there is a page, as everything, um, where we just try to collect references. Um, yeah, please, please come and talk to me, generally. Um, as I said, if you have any ideas, if you have any questions, also please come to me. I am so happy if I have get any feedback and um, yeah, again, shukran for having me. <laughs> yeah. So our idea was that I think, I don't know the exact numbers, but I think by now there's over 60% of Arabic editors editing on mobile. Mm -hmm. So um, we said we will start with mobile because then once we break it down into those individual steps, we can transfer it easier to desktop. So it will be on desktop anyway, so from the beginning, but when once we have this broken down into easy steps to follow, so this is one section, right, and then this is the reference, that's the next section, right, and that's the references, do we want to include that and so on. Um, then we can transfer this idea of like building blocks of how to write an article back to the desktop as well. But just mobile forces us to think in those building blocks and that's what we saw when we started making this huge mock-up for uh, desktop that is just cluttered with information and you don't really follow like what reference belongs to which section. And so there's, um, I, you may not know this, but there's a, a Greek editor uh -huh. who has um, done amazing work in um, building templates for um, for desktop editing. Oh, okay. uh, he has it in Greek and he has it in English. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, I, because I'm in the, in the user group, I presented it in the e poster, no, poster yet last year at the beginning and, uh, in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And he has a group of um, um, collaborators all over the world. And it's like a drop down list. You, you add, it just, you know, it just drops down and it gives you Reasons you through how to create an article, what subject, what, what category do you want, and it makes the paragraphs and everything. Mm -hmm. And maybe it would be interesting if you saw how this. Uh, this would be lovely, done. actually, because we're trying. So that's what we're trying, and we found that there are a lot of like similar approaches that started by someone at some point in different language Wikipedia's. They're just never brought together, basically. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to recreate everything that's there. So yeah, you don't if, have to the deal. Yeah. exactly, exactly. And so there are a lot of people. I mean, the idea is really intuitive. Right. So uh, that's why it would be nice to actually, if you can send me the link, or I, I'll well, come I, to you after. I have your contact details, so I'll put you directly in contact. When I go Perfect. Back to you, okay? That's really nice. Thank you so much. Okay. Anything else? Um, the unlabeled templates. That is specifically, I think, for English Wikipedia, where you take a Wikidata item of an artwork, and then it also already gives you the structure of Wikipedia article mm -hmm. for it. And I think there's also a project going on about putting cultural institutions around the world on Wikidata yeah. and starting from that those Wikidata items also creating articles. Yeah. And so is there a place where you want to collect these examples? Or yes. should I just put them on the top page of Scribe? Or uh, the top page of Scribe would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. Because then I will start I will yes. start a new page somewhere yeah. on the sub page of Scribe. Exactly. Make uh, yeah. impossible. But yeah, no, this would be amazing because this is exactly the kind of things we're looking for. And a lot of things I'm not aware of because they are very specific as for like land things or only like specific things. So yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah.
this more like a comment I did with it, uh, um, you at the research team, like the retention, the retention, retention uh, team at the foundation are in contact and you're actually using their uh, recommendations. It's quite, that's really amazing. Um, yeah, so it was very intuitive because they work on very similar questions like yeah. how can we support new editors and so on. And so uh, I, I just grabbed them and was like, tell me all your knowledge. Yeah. Um, and this was, uh, yeah, it's, it's very cool to see that there are a lot of like moving towards this idea of like how can we support editors, especially new editors, how can we make them understand things. So they have this box of uh, where you can, they're testing this at the moment, I think, where you can ask questions oh, or you find um, guidelines and so on. And so that's something we liked a lot as well because that's, I think that everyone is working in the same directions, it's just a lot of different pieces that would be nice to bring together in the end. So what exactly did you use for the recommendations? So at the moment, nothing. So we are building our thing and then we try to implement, so we try to find the, the way to integrate their things mm -hmm. because a lot of the things they're building at the moment are also made for desktop. Uh, so, and the problem with us focusing on mobile is how to not clutter the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Because you will have the references, you will have the section headings, you will have the information that this is a Wikipedia it's article okay. about X, yeah. and then somewhere you need to have the guidelines also in there, and then there's a keyboard, yeah. which I shockingly realized. <laughs> but yeah, so that would be... Yeah, I'm very excited to see what they're also coming up with and it's uh, nice to have contact with them because they're good at like, testing things in the real world. Uh, another question would be, would you be supporting the thanks feature? Uh, the one that, that is already on Wikipedia right now? Would you, would you... So basically we're just, into, so what, what's happening technically is we're just a layer over the visual editor, right? So anything you can do in the visual editor, you can do with us as well. So that's the exact same thing. So it's just a layer over it. That's how we implement it anyway at the moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I just had a thought. So next door here, we have media. Yeah. Like uh, writing, you know, uh, events. And I think that's an, an ideal use case for Scribe. It's like, uh, because I just saw that they indeed they have a working list on Wikipedia based on Wikipedia items for women. Yeah. And I think, you know, like a list like this could be like a starting point to get to describe to for, especially beginning editors to, you know. That's, that's exactly what yeah. we want to start also testing our approach. So uh, if you start anything in research and you say we do it for everything, it's probably pretty not good. So that's why we wanted to make exactly this kind of collaborations where we say we work with people that already have lists of important articles and then focus on their topic specifically. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a long term project? Yeah, so we got, oh, I forgot to, I always forget to say this, we got a, a project grant from the foundation for a year. So mm -hmm. this until, so we have the, the money to develop it until uh, next year, June or something. Mm -hmm. um, so we have some time to test around. So yeah. what I'm also currently doing, I always forget to say this, is that we are looking for Arabic editors because we are doing research interviews, so qualitative studies. Um, where we just ask them questions of like, what do you do, how do you do it, um, what do you like, how do you find references, things like that, to understand how people are actually editing for each language community we're, we're working with, um, so, so that we don't like, lose the goal of what we're actually doing, basically. And then it's an iterative process, so every time we actually have a proper mock-up, we will test it with the community, so that's um, also why I'm here and connections, basically. <laughs> Oh, that's it then. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. um, I'm on your uh, job link. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I saw that you're looking for like a senior, but you bet I'll be like still junior developer. Oh, that's that's always yeah. a mistake everyone does. Just write us an email. Send us your CV. We can chat about it also if you want to have more details. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Come to me and we can have a talk about what's, what's there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.